Many cities around the world, even those with well-developed public transportation, are coping with traffic jams and consequently with air pollution. So electric propulsion is becoming increasingly important. Until recently, the main obstacle to its widespread use was battery technology. Batteries were heavy, could not hold a lot of energy and took too long to recharge. Not anymore. The battery technology is, is evolving very, very fast. I mean, a couple of years ago, when we introduced supercharging, it was quite new. Now it, it's common. This is most important for electric vehicle manufacturers. The top-of-the-line Tesla Model S can run more than 500 kilometers on a single charge. The more affordable Nissan Leaf and Kia Soul, connected overnight to a charger, can cover close to 160 kilometers, more than enough for an average commuter. All manufacturers are promising longer ranges in the future. At the same time, battery power is making inroads into mass transportation. Mercedes has a solar-charged battery-powered bus, and a company in Sweden has successfully tested a commuter ferry that not only runs on batteries, but also employs a new type of vibration-less propulsion. This pollution-free vessel is also faster than traditional diesel-powered ferries. When people have been talking about electric boats or zero emission boats, they have thought old-fashioned ways. They, they have thought, OK, we would like to go 8 knots, 7 knots, like 15 kilometers per hour. We said, why don't we go faster, like 30 knots? And people have said, is that possible? Yeah, we can do 55 kilometers per hour. On the boat? The experimental ferry named Ariel runs on lithium titanate batteries that recharge in about 15 minutes and give it a range of more than 25 kilometers. The boat also has a unique design. Its two electric motors are connected to forward facing twin propellers, the so called IPS system designed by Swedish company Volvo. This reduces vibration, while innovative hull design makes the ship partially float on air at higher speeds. We take an air cushion vessel in a new fashion of an air cushion vessel. We combine it with state-of-the-art building techniques like um, carbon fiber, uh, and then we have the best propulsion system like Volvo IPS system. Ariel's designers say the ferry can accommodate 70 passengers and their bikes and is perfect for many of the world's cities built along large bodies of water. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.